This uh, morning we're headed to get coffee at Tove, which um, I believe is in an old London double-decker bus. It's Egyptian coffee. I've never had Egyptian coffee, so we'll see what it's like. Kind of give you a little bit of overview on what it tastes like and uh, what options this specific location has. What you notice is she's putting the coffee in warm sand to heat the coffee and this is apparently the normal process of making Egyptian coffee. Sounds like trouble with the cops. Yes, that is the name. And Nectar of the Gods were strong yet smooth with almond milk ice cubes for a sweetener. The flavor profile was eclectic and not indicative of your common caffeinated beverages. If you are in the Portland area, I recommend you experience the diverse flavors for yourself. Courtyard had other eateries and murals from local artists. It appeared to be a nice place to relax and enjoy the outdoors. Alright, just got done drinking our coffee at Tove. Definitely, if you want to try something different and have a good atmosphere, uh, try Tove. I believe it's T O V with a little uh, accent over the O. For something eclectic, something out of the norm, definitely check it out. Egyptian coffee is interesting. I'll say that. <laughs> so we're headed back to uh, PDX Lighters, but here in the um, Division District? Yeah, Division section. So this is like the other location for PDX Lighters. So good the first time that uh, we decided to come back. Another great meal at PDX Sliders, and we're just headed to, I believe, the tram right now. But uh, great food, everything was immaculate, very consistent with uh, the quality ingredients that they use, and overall, just very happy with uh, my experience at PDX. So, um, Portland area, check out the one on the Vision. I don't know, forget the <laughs> where the other one's located, but um, look it up, look it up on Google or Yelp, and <laughs> check out both of them because they both have different settings. One's more of a, like a bar setting. Uh, on the vision the other one is more of a family oriented setting where you can eat outside it's very spacious and um but both of them great service great food check them out head to the tram right now it is nice and rainy what a beautiful day if you love overcast and not vitamin d portland is obviously the place for you i think it's been notated multiple times but i'm just reinforcing that with this narration so we will be going using that to get to the top of the hill. From what I've heard is that it's not going to take too long. It doesn't cost very much. Maybe only about $4, but we'll find out more as we get closer to it. And I'm currently walking back to the park because I'm pretty sure I did not lock it. I'm like holding this thing down while uh, <laughs> holding the umbrella down while I'm walking. Very windy trying to do a 
multiple things at once. Perfect. Once again, goes round trip fair. Oh, what is that? Come on. Got it. And that's for two? Yeah. It's like nine something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The cabin will swing as it passes the tower. Please watch your balance. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Streets way in right now. <laughs> Says it's gonna sway right, right before it sways. That's funny. So yeah, I just uh, found some balloons out here at a hospital out in the rain kind of like cue the sad music in the slow motion Okay, and there you have it. That was a tram you didn't ask for, but it, that's what you get for four dollars and ninety cents. I guess it was worth the the midair swing in a giant metal pill-shaped craft. So if that's something that interests you, and you happen to be in Portland, check it out. There's also a hospital up there in case you get sick with the swing, as some people did. I think they felt a little nauseous. I'm sure they have some anti-nausea pills. Some starts with a D. Forget what it is right now. That, that, that something, something with a D. Anyways, uh, when you got nothing else to do in Portland, you go use a tram. We are making a stop to go get some tasty brews here at Ghost Runner Brewing. World renowned, award winning, great place to hang out they have a lot uh, they have great brews great ciders um they've got ping pong pizza um sometimes if you're here like on a thursday night they might have some trivia or something but yeah definitely come out and check them out